Hi everyone, this is Munam and we are back with another demo video on integration with QuickBooks for WooCommerce plugin. So let's start the demo video. So we are on the WordPress dashboard. So now let us see after installing the plugin how we can easily set up and connect QuickBooks with WooCommerce. But before moving to the setup and connection, let us first see how QuickBooks will benefit your WooCommerce store or what are the benefits of using QuickBooks or integrating QuickBooks with WooCommerce. So integrating your WooCommerce store with QuickBooks will definitely help you to effortlessly sync your WooCommerce store data that will help you to sync all your store data including invoices, customer data and products data. Moreover, you can easily control and manage your accounts and Eliminate the error caused by the manual entry by automating the processes of billing and invoicing. And this plugin is quick and easy to set up. So again we are on the WordPress dashboard and now let's click on QuickBooks Woo. So as you can see that we are on the setup connection and here you have to click on connect your account. And if you need any instant assistance or regarding the any issues or queries or if you want any feature customizations for QuickBooks integration for WooCommerce so simply you can connect us over Skype so let's first click on connect your account so here uh, I have selected the connection type as sandbox if you want to select the like uh, for production so you can click on production mode or if you want to click on sandbox mode so simply you can click on this and you have to click on connect to QuickBooks and if you don't have any account yet so you can create a free account by clicking on this so here you can create your account so let's again go back and if you want to check the app setup guide so here you can click on show me how and it will redirect you to the app setup guide so let's click on connect to QuickBooks So here you have to enter the user ID or email and the password then you have to click on sign in. So let's enter the credentials. So I have entered the credentials so let's click on sign in. So here if you want to verify your number so here you can verify with text message or if you want to skip for now so you can click on this. So here you have to select your company so let's click on uh, this and let's click on next. So as you can see that we are on the dashboard of QuickBooks for WooCommerce and we have completed the setup connection and let's move to next step. So as you can see that now you have to create the feeds and uh, in this plugin you will get the three default feeds that are customer feeds items feed and invoice feeds so let's click on create feeds so uh, the feeds have been created now let's move to next step so uh, now you have to sync your existing data to quickbooks crm so let's click on complete onboarding so let's click on view dashboard So as you can see that one disclaimer has came, attention required before we start any sync, please map your financial accounts to product feeds. So that means if uh, for further uh, performing any sync or if you want to sync any data, so firstly you have to map your financial accounts to product feeds. So let's go to product feeds. So as you can see that we are on the default product feeds and you have to scroll down and you have to uh, click on this map quickbook accounts and here you have to fill out uh, the map uh, mapping details like uh, here you can select this and here you can select cost of sales or inventory shrinkage next here you can uh, select sales of product income and here you can uh, select deposit account next you have to click on update so as you can see that uh, it's showing like post updated so let's uh, go back to the feeds so now let's uh, go to the dashboard so as you can see that we are on the dashboard of quickbooks integration for woocommerce 
and as you can see that uh, the connection status is connected and if you want to uh, refresh the access token so simply you can click on this as you can see that it's showing process completed access token is renewed so the access token uh, expires in 60 minutes so you can uh, refresh by clicking on this and if you want to reauthorize so simply you can click on this reauthorize button or if you want to disconnect uh, this quickbooks so simply you can click on this so as you can see that for now uh, the contact products and order syncing is showing zero because we have not performed the data syncing so further if you will scroll down so we have added a documentation button by clicking on this you will be redirected to the documentation so you can uh, check out the documentation for any help regarding the connection setup and if you are facing any issues so you can click on this support button so it uh, you can open a support ticket next if you want any customized solution or you want any personalized solution so simply you can uh, click on this connect button and you can contact us so uh, this was all about the dashboard of quickbooks integration for woocommerce now let's move to next uh, next tab that is feed section so we are on the feed section so as you can see that this plugin provides by default three feeds that are default invoice feed default customer feed and default product feeds so these are uh, the particular three feeds in which your woocommerce data will be synced so as you can see that all three uh, feeds are active as you can see that so if you want to deactivate so simply you can click on this so that particular feed will be deactivated and here as you can see that here uh, it's showing the object for invoice feed like invoice and for the customer it's the object is customer and for the products the object is selected as item so all the product data will be synced in product feed and the customer data will be synced in this customer feed and all the uh, billing or invoice related data will be synced in this default invoice feed so as you can see that uh, the this event so uh, this particular event means uh, this feed will be triggered uh, whenever the order status is changed so similarly goes for customer feed whenever the new order is created so this field will be triggered and all the related uh, data of customer will be synced in this particular field and for this default product field the event is product updated or created so whenever any product is updated or created so this field will be triggered and all the product data will be synced and next is primary field so the the primary field here is doc number and in this uh, primary field is primary email address and here is fully qualified name so uh, these are the uh, uh, particular th default uh, three fields and if you want to edit them so simply you have to click on this and you will be redirected to the edit section so here you can uh, edit the details as per your requirements so if you want to edit any field so simply you can edit from here so here you can select the object like uh, invoice item estimate so uh, you can select as per your requirements next here you have to map the fields in which uh, the data will be synced make sure you have uh, mapped the fields correctly otherwise the data will not be synced properly so as you can see that here uh, you can uh, map the data accordingly like doc number uh, billing address line one so here you can select the field type like standard value or custom value so here you can decide the custom value next uh, same you can do for billing address line 2 billing city billing country billing state and similarly you you can map all your fields next if you will scroll down here uh, the option is coming for add new field so if you want to add new field so simply here you can select a uh, new field like currency code currency label billing email name print uh, currency code currency label so simply you can click on this and add new field and here uh, is primary field so here i have selected doc number next is select event so here you can uh, for now i have selected the event as order status change so if you want uh, any other event so simply you can uh, select like send manually product updated order status change to failed so uh, this is how uh, we have provided various event you can select like uh, on which event uh, this particular field will be triggered 
So this is how you can edit the field as per your requirements. So uh, after doing this, you have to click on update. Next, let's again go back to the fields. So similarly, you can also edit customer field and product field. So this was all about the field section. Now let's move to next tab that is data sync tab. So we are on the data sync tab. So here you will be getting the two options of bulk data sync and bulk click sync. So with bulk data sync, you can sync your all WooCommerce objects data of your site or store to the CRM in just one go. Next is one click sync. So here you can sync all your newly added or failed WooCommerce object of your site to the CRM in just one click. So like uh, uh, when you will hover on this, so as you can see that here you have to select the WooCommerce object like uh, when I will select products. So here the option will come uh, to select the feed. So here uh, you have to select the default product feeds and you have to click on start sync. So as you can see that the process has been completed and the objects has been synced. So you can check out the log like you have to click on logs. So as you can see that the product data has been synced. So as you can see that uh, here it is showing the feed and here it is showing the Woo object and here it is showing the Woo object ID and here uh, it is showing QuickBooks object along with the QuickBooks object ID and at which time uh, it was synced. So uh, for any verification, uh, you can check out the log section after syncing the data. As you can see that all the product feeds had has been synced and in the sync log it's showing here. So in this uh, log section, if you want to download the log, so simply you can click on this and if you want to clear the log, so simply you can click on this. So it will clear out the log. Next, uh, if you will go again uh, to the data sync tab, and here if we, if we will hover on this and if we will select customer next uh, you have to select on default customer feed and you have to click on start sync so as you can see that the object has been synced so let's click on ok and let's again go back to the logs so as you can see that the customer feed has also been updated as you can see that and it's showing the quickbooks object id also so this is how you can uh, perform the data, uh, bulk data sync in order to sync all your WooCommerce data over QuickBooks CRM. And if you, uh, if you want to perform like one click sync, so uh, one click sync will work in case if uh, there is new or any failed WooCommerce object data, so simply you can perform the one click sync. Like uh, if I will select products and I will select default product feeds and if I will click on start sync, so as you can see that uh, no more data found as uh, already we have synced uh, with the help of bulk data sync. So that's why it's showing uh, no more data found. So this is how you can perform the bulk data sync for all your uh, default feed like customer feed, uh, product feed and invoice feed. And when we will uh, click on dashboard, so as you can see that uh, contact, sync, uh, contact sync, it is showing 4 and the product sync, it is showing 23 and order sync, it is showing 0 because we have not performed the bulk sync for the orders. So uh, if you want to perform the uh, bulk data sync for order sync, so simply you have to go to the data sync and you can click on this and you can select invoice and here you can select default invoice field and you have to click on start sync. So as you can see that the process has been completed and the objects has been synced. So uh, let's again go back to the dashboard. So as you can see that the order has been synced. Now as you can see that uh, order synced is showing 5. And let's go to logs. So as you can see that uh, here uh, the invoice field uh, in the sync log it's showing and along with the QuickBooks object ID. So this is how you can easily uh, perform sync with the help of bulk data sync and you can sync your all your WooCommerce data and you can sync all your uh, data including uh, products data, invoice data, customer data over QuickBooks. So this was all about the data sync tab. Now let's move to uh, settings tab. So we are on the settings tab. 
so the very first option is enable instant sync so as soon as you will click on this toggle button so uh, this will be enabled and uh, this option allows you to sync uh, all your WooCommerce data instantly to QuickBooks so if you will deactivate this so you have to manually sync all your data by going to the data sync tab and performing the bulk sync so if you have uh, enabled the instant sync so all your WooCommerce data will be synced instantly to QuickBooks next setting is enable logging so if you want to enable the log like uh, if you will enable this so all your logs will be saved and if you will deactivate so no logs will be saved like if you, uh, if i will deactivate this and click on save and when i will go to uh, logs so as you can see that uh, the option is coming as please enable the log so this uh, this is coming because we have uh, deactivated from the settings uh, of the option uh, enabling the log so let's go to settings and enable the logging and let's click on save so this is how you can activate or deactivate the logging as per your requirements next is enable auto sync so with the functionality of auto sync all your data will be synced in the background so if you want to sync your all your data in the background so you can enable this functionality from here next is wipe complete data on disconnect so if you will enable this option so whenever you will disconnect so all your uh, data will be wiped out so if you want to uh, wipe out the data completely so you can enable this option and whenever you will disconnect all your data will be wiped out next is uh, uh, delete log after x days so if you want to decide like uh, after particular number of days your log should be deleted so here you can decide like uh, 10 or 15 like i am deciding like 15 and when i will click on save so after 15 days uh, the logs will be deleted so this was all about the settings tab now let's move to dashboard so as you can see that for now the contact sync uh, contact sync uh, is showing five products it's 23 and order is five so let's uh, go to the shop page and let's uh, i have selected like a beanie and i have added this to the cart so let's view the cart and let's proceed to check out and let's change the uh, billing details and now let's uh, click on place order so as you can see that the order has been received now let's again go back to the back end and let's refresh this so as you can see that the contacts has been synced and the order has also been synced so it's showing now six and six so this is how the contacts and the order will be synced whenever the new order is placed one thing more if you want to manually sync the data so you can simply go to WooCommerce and click on orders and here you have to click on this and from here you can sync the uh, data manually as you can see that from here you can uh, sync the data manually so this is how if you want to sync the data manually so you can uh, sync the data from here so this was all about the demo video on quickbooks integration for woocommerce plugin so if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you until the next video stay connected with us thank you